What? Ah! Hello, what is up, guys? I am the Quantum Flux, aka Benjamin Yunus from Parsec Studios, and today we're talking about Invisible Wall, yo. So, um, if you didn't see this already, go check out the video in the description below. Here's an annotation. It's awesome and hilarious. Um, bad acting, though. And I actually didn't focus my camera on that one. And I don't even know if I'm focused here because I focused on like something behind me for this camera. But today we figure out how to do it. So what I did is I went into After Effects and I, I produced a kind of composition. And I'm a noob at this, so don't judge me because I'm not good at this. Oh, shut up! I'm so what I'm going to be doing is that I'm going to put my little video down. You're going to cut it up to whatever you suit your. <laughs> Whatever you suit your needs to know, whatever suits your needs, and uh, you're gonna want to try and get your video, and you're gonna put in your effect. I used a free effect from FootageCreate.com. The effects are pretty good from there. They're not like um, video co-pilot or anything like that. If you have the money, definitely recommend to do that, or record your own, or make your own assets. I'm gonna try to do a video on that because no one else has, because that's the next thing I'm doing. Sorry about this long wait, and yes, I'm still in my room. Gosh, I'm hungry. Anyone can send me a food through, through the camera, that'd be great. Um, I want a pizza, preferably with garlic sauce. Anyway, I'm going to be going in, I'm going to be putting my effect in wherever I want to need it. And now, first off, we just want to have the effect where it's just in the door, so it's not all over the place. Now, there's two ways of doing this. One is the bit way I did it was just horrible and I shouldn't have done this, but I cropped the image. No, not crop. Um... That's a good way to do it, but the other way to do it is to actually uh, stretch the image. Don't do that at all. It's going to squish your pixels and make it look distorted, which it did. But the best way to do it is to move the frame. Now, it's going to be 1920 by 1080 effect, and you can get two free downloads per day. And if you sign up, you get five days, five downloads. I feel like I'm endorsing them, but I'm not. So anyway, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go into your com in your composition, and you're going to want to put these down. And you want to make sure you crop these things to whatever you are. Have it be door now. You might want to tilt it and canter it a little bit to make it a little more realistic for the perspective you're looking at. I would have actually done one for the window, but I didn't. I probably should have. But anyway, what you're gonna, once you've done that, now what you want to do is you want to go ahead and make sure your actor. There's two ways of making sure that this looks realistic. A, your actor is a flipping mime, 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 or B, you want to make sure that you um, make it convincing. You want to make your effect look really realistic to comp for someone like me who can't run into a door like anything. Yeah. So anyway, what you're gonna wanna do, or, or run into a desk for that matter. Yeah, I'm pretty sure y'all wanna watch that all day. What? What? Anyway, getting back to it, what you're gonna do is you're also gonna wanna have some kind of effect, sound effect put in there. I actually use sound effects from Footage Crate. You can also use freesound.org, which also includes a lot of Footage Crate stuff. I think all of it, actually. But what you're gonna wanna do is after doing that, you're gonna wanna come back in and you're going to have your effects laid out and everything. And um, I actually use two effects, I use two sound effects at once. I'm gonna give you all my resources down there so you can do it. And what you wanna do is the only thing I ask is that you say, this was originally the, this is originally, um, Project Studios, you can repost it on YouTube. Send it to me if you want, because I am a small channel, so I will see pretty much everything, and I really, really enjoy feedback. So, once you've done that, then you're going to want to, it will look like this. Not very good. So what you're going to want to do after that is that you're going to want to go ahead and get your, get your actor's hands. If anything is in the frame, go ahead and cut it out. And to do this, if your actor moves quickly, I haven't gotten to get motion track to work with that. I don't know how to use motion track very well. So, we're gonna do a different method, which is to manually keyframe it. And by the way, highly not recommended if you can actually not see motion blur. If your actor does move quickly or you're applying them to move quickly, what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna go ahead and make sure you set your shutter speed to be really fast so you don't get as much motion blur. And then the motion tracker might actually not get freaked out. Ah! Yeah, motion tracker's really a little bit sensitive. Anyway, what you're gonna wanna do then is you're gonna wanna go ahead and uh, make sure you keyframe your movements. Like your movements normally will be like one movement, like your hand's gonna go from here to here, and you're gonna start moving here. So you can more easily keyframe it. And I did all of these, uh, this cutout keyframe. Oh, no, motion So anyway, what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna go ahead. I say that way too much. Is that some kind of cryptic message? You're gonna then wanna go ahead and Set your keyframes, and once you do this, you have this. 
Then you add some amazing and awesome sound, and you should get this. So there you have it. That's how you do it. It's very short and simple. In fact, come back next week when we're going to be making custom assets and using them to burn things. I am the Quantum Flux, aka Benjamin Eunice. Please consider liking, commenting, and subscribing. And I will see you in the next video.